My name is Sachinandan Swami. I joined the movement for Krishna consciousness in 1971. Mm. I'm coming from Germany and you might like to know how a person mm, makes his decision to join such a movement. What are the influences? I had read the Bhagavad Gita uh, and uh, I was not sure if I would be able to take the path of Krishna consciousness up because from my own reading I thought no uh, human being will be able to live by such high standards uh, truthfulness, sense control, uh, non-violence in thought and in action mm. and so I wanted to see a person who could actually live like this a living example if you so wanted mm. that's why I made a journey in 71 uh, to London where I met His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada the founder of our movement in the West and uh, uh, the person who wrote and translated many, many of the uh, Vedic books. So, by seeing his example, by seeing his, uh, uh, hearing his lectures, I became totally convinced. Um, I think the human being uh, always looks for living examples who embody the teachings, who act upon what they uh, preach. And in him I could see this mixture of uh, uh, a genuine saint who was very humble, but then who was a powerful, powerful presenter of the uh, science of Krishna consciousness. Uh, I could see his personal kindness and I saw how absorbed he was himself in uh, Krishna and uh, when I heard him singing I could see how he expressed his heart to Krishna like his best friend and so all these and many more qualities convinced me that here I have found a living example and I could follow his uh, path. Uh, the first services for me in our movement uh, were translating uh, his books into the German language. I translated the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna book, many, many books which he had translated and uh, this gave me an opportunity to really get to know his teachings very much. Then after some time um, I started a program called the Network Program. Here uh, I wanted to, um, I, I left my room as a translator and went and gave programs all over Germany through which I hope to inspire people to, uh, to look into Krishna consciousness and uh, it was very successful we made a, a web you could say much before the internet <laughs> uh, a, a net all over Europe with little centers everywhere from it uh, we developed a Namahata program and then I wanted to reach for the stars. <laughs> uh, we gave big programs uh, with up to 33,000 people participating. Once uh, we were the main news in the American broadcasting uh, thing CNN and they said uh, after visiting one of our programs in Russia where uh, uh, oof, about 40,000 people participated 
they said, oh, Krishna consciousness is the fastest growing religion on planet Earth. Uh, this uh, 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 program was conceived also by Srila Prabhupada, who said that we should give cultural programs to the uh, non-devotee audience where we would present the culture through Indian dance, uh, through uh, uh, multivision shows, uh, we would also present the philosophy and at the end we would have Kirtan with uh, uh, th these thousands of people. Uh, now I'm presently engaged in uh, uh, sp uh, spreading big Kirtan events all over the world, Kirtan Melas we call them, in India and Europe and Mauritius and everywhere. And I also am engaged in designing a program which I call the Vedic Way. It is a systematic training uh, uh, whereby which people can reach self-realization. But if I want to uh, tell you what is really in my heart about these programs is, it, it's this. I feel, although I'm engaged in many, many big, uh, high-end programs through which we reach out to the people, I always feel myself to be a little puppet on a string which is uh, guided by my uh, exalted spiritual master. And a puppet without strings would be dead on the ground. And in the same way, a disciple without the mercy and guidance of his spiritual master is only a dead person who is not able to really reach the heart of other people.